Hey guys, this is Andrew from Simu Apps, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use CocoaPods, go over what it is, and we are going to use it to leverage one of its many libraries to show a confetti view in our iPhone application for our example. So first of all, let's take a look at the CocoaPods website. It gives us an overview of what CocoaPods is, and basically it's a library manager for Swift. With it, it allows you to add third-party libraries that allow you to code applications a lot faster, that takes a lot of work out of you actually coding it. So for example, a popular library is AF Networking, which allows you to use networking protocols really easy when connecting to web services and the like. And there's also other libraries such as managing in-app purchases and the Convetti few that I showed you. So there's quite a lot of libraries out there. And even Facebook has a CocoaPods library that allows you to implement the Facebook SDK for iOS devices quite quickly. So to get to the website, you go to CocoaPods.org or just search Google for CocoaPods. And to install it, what you need to do, if you scroll down, you'll see this install and you'll see this sudo jam install CocoaPods command here. So you just need to open up your terminal and from anywhere type in sudo jam install CocoaPods. Press enter and this will start installing CocoaPods. You'll need to provide the password of your computer and that will begin the install process. So I've already got mine installed, so it's going to update it most likely, but yours will do the same thing that you can see on my screen now. It may take up to five to 10 minutes to install. So if you don't see anything happening straight away in your terminal, don't worry, just let it sit there for a bit and we'll soon see some output from the terminal. Once it's downloaded, then it starts installing on your Mac. Okay, so now we can see it install Coking Pods. Now we can see some output from the terminal. So just let that run through. And finally, once it's installed, you'll see that it's got some number of gem insta gems installed and you'll see a terminal window like this. So now that we've done that, I'll show you how to use the SA Confetti Viewport to add that confetti that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So what a pod is, is it's basically a self-contained library that you can easily add to your Xcode project. So for SA Confetti View, if you just search Google for it, for the GitHub page, this will be one of the first results. And it gives us a brief overview of the installation usage and some other information about the confetti library. So changing it to different shapes, different colors, and so on. So to use CocoaPods, what we do is with our Xcode project that I've got here, which is a single view application, if you open up the finder, and navigate to the project root directory, which ours is CocoaPods demo. In terminal, you type cd with a space, then drag the folder into terminal. It will add the whole path to the folder. And this is going to change the directory to this folder here in our terminal. So whatever commands we run in a terminal now is going to execute on this folder here. And we need to do this because we want to install the pod for this particular project. So any Xcode project you have, if you want to use CocoaPods, first of all, navigate to that directory and to set up a what's called a pod file, type pod init. Once that's done, you'll see this pod file in Finder. So let's take a look at that pod file and just open up with any text editor you're familiar with. 
So now that we've opened up the pod file, you can see some text in here. And basically, what this text is, is telling us what projects to install the libraries we add into. So if we go back to the SA Confetti View GitHub page, we'll see how to install it is by adding this line pod SA Confetti View to our pod file. So where we need to add it is just under this comment here. You can see it's got a hash, so with a hash that's a comment that won't be executed. Just add pod SA confetti view as follows like on the github page and what this is basically doing is this target CocoaPods demo this means to target the CocoaPods demo project in this, this particular folder so if we go to finder we can see the project here is CocoaPods demo the target is CocoaPods demo so it's targeting that project to install this SA Confetti View pod, which is a library for that. So once that's done, just save the pod file, close that down, and then you'll see in the documentation, the next thing to do is to run pod install. So we do that once again from the terminal, from that Xcode project folder. So if we just type in ls, it will show all the files in this folder and we can see we've got our pod file here so that means we know we're in the right directory and to install that pod file we type pod install you'll see some more output from the console and depending on how big the pod file is that you're installing it could install in 30 seconds like now or it could take up to five minutes to install once it's finally installed you'll see this pod installed so that means we can now use this SA Confetti View library in our project. So to do that, I'm going to close down that Xcode project that we currently have open for CocoaPods demo and reopen it. So we'll go to Finder and in the CocoaPods demo folder, you'll notice it's added a few more files. So we've got this podfile.log, this pods file, which contains all the libraries that we have installed with CocoaPods for this particular project. And we've also got this CocoaPods demo.exe workspace. So usually when you open up an Xcode project, you'll want to open up the .xcode proj file. However, with CocoaPods, once you install a pod, you need to open up the XE workspace. And the reason for that is opening this up will open up your project with that pod file integrated into it. So let's open it up now, and on the left we'll see our CocoaPods demo, and additionally the pods that we have installed. So to use the Confetti View library, you simply follow the documentation here, which I'll run you through now how to use it in our example app. So if we open up our CocoaPods demo folder, we're going to go to the view controller. So now to make it rain confetti in our app, we need to add import sa confetti view. And once we add that line, you'll notice an error come up straight away. So to resolve that, simply go project and build. And now let that process run through just up the top here. The reason that that happens is because when we've opened up the project you need to build it at least once so you can import any pod files you have added in without an error so now that we've imported sa confetti view under the class view controller we're going to add a variable called a there confetti view and we're going to do colon sa confetti view exclamation mark and then under view did load to make it rain confetti, we simply add a few lines. So that is confetti view for that variable we just made equals sa confetti view brackets frame and for the frame we are going to do self.view.bounds so this means it will take up the whole screen's view 
then we to add it to the screen we add self dot view dot add sub view confetti view and to make the confetti start raining we simply do confetti view dot start confetti let's rerun our app and now we'll see the confetti going All right, how awesome is that? We've added the confetti view library to our app and in a few lines, we've got some confetti rating from our iPhone app with the help of CocoaPods. So this library is probably hundreds of lines of code and with the CocoaPod, you can simply add it in and in a few lines of code, get it going without having to worry to create it yourself. So you can download the source code for this project below and also just a quick note, if you're downloading any CocoaPods projects from the internet, what you need to do before opening up the .exe workspace file, you need to navigate to the directory using terminal. Remember typing CD, going to finder, drag your folder you want to browse to, to terminal, to change the directory. And after that, you need to type pod install because it needs to reinstall the pods again if you've downloaded it and never used it before. So just a quick note on downloading CocoaPod source code projects. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also check out our website, Facebook and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.